Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Pavin, an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. We have reached the end, my friends. The end of season four of Haikyuu is upon us. Today, we are gonna be watching episode 25 called The Promised Land. Um, oh, Karasuno won against Inarizaki. We had, I mean, I kind of touched on this last episode, but I feel like compared to other seasons, the quality of play and performance this season was like a lot higher, but because there were so many more amazing plays and, you know, things happening, the impact of them didn't hit quite as hard. Like in season two, season three, whatever, like Kerosene was kind of coming into their own. So the odd play here and there that was like incredibly standout, like really made an impact. Whereas this season, maybe I was like desensitized a little bit because it was just, I was spoiled with so many good plays. So I don't wanna like take away from like the stuff that has happened in this season, in particular in the match against Inarizaki. Like there was some hard hitting stuff. Let me tell you, I cried many times, but yeah. Even that final play, like so many great, starting with the serve, Daichi's dig, the recycle, the final block of the like super twin freak back quick. like. It all, it was so good. But like, it's crazy to me that the part that got me like in the heart was Tsukushima's like recap after. Oh, of course it was them. Of course it was those two. The only two who didn't waver. Like, oh my gosh, so good. Um, I'm very excited to see how this season wraps up. Um, I know that there will be much more Haikyuu to come. I don't know when exactly, but it will come. Um, and I will 100% be watching everything that comes out. Oh, I've also been encouraged to react to other, you know, give my like reviews or react to the manga and things like that. So more will definitely be coming, but I know you're gonna miss me, so head on over to my anime channel, Sarah Pavin Anime, where I react to more than just Haikyuu and not just sports anime either. So head on over there so we can keep hanging out while we wait for more Haikyuu to come. Um, but let's see what happens. I'm so excited. As I said, today we're watching Haikyuu season four, episode 25 called The Promised Land, and it's coming right now. Ooh, the final block. Beautiful. Hmm. <sighs> okay just what we needed relive the final like contacts of that last point ugh. and to see it through kita's little eyeball ugh, extra drama <laughs> the 
the coach's face. I love it. Oh. Oh, my cheeks hurt already. God, are you kidding me? Oh, they're always the same. What's what Shijo got to say? Shijo thinks. Does he take back what he said about Hinata or does he stand by it? Does he want to address his own shortcomings and maybe things that he didn't do in his own career and see how Hinata operated differently or is he going to be a little sourpuss? Let me know. I don't know. Um, Honestly, I can't help but be a little bit upset about Atsumu's comment. I, hold on, before you start frantically typing at me here, um, listen, the reason I'm saying that, I understand that this is a huge compliment that Atsumu is giving Hinata. I get it. It means like, hey, we're gonna play pro together or whatever. No. That is Kageyama's job. He is going to be the one setting him. And I could not help but see Kageyama's face like, no, seriously, come on. No. I, again, huge compliment. He's saying that he not is a good player, that he's gonna be even better. Kageyama, it's gonna be him. It was a good game. They did play well. I understand Atsuma's feelings, though. 
家庭が大事と大人が言うて子供はいまいち納得せん北の方が少数派やと思うで。ああ優勝候補とも言われていた稲荷崎高校ですが敗因は何だったでしょうか今回勝つにはもっと手堅く攻めるべきだったかもしれないですね私のミスです More aggressive. 確実に選手躍進の一戦でしたあ、oh, it is so easy from this position sitting here watching this or watching any athletes play like when a match like that happens to be like no they need to show themselves compassion they played really well they fought well they like whatever they're a great team that is definitely the case here but like as the athlete that that is happening to that it does not matter so the pain is all that they are going to feel um Especially given their history and like the expectations and what they're used to. They're used to making the final of, weren't they the runner up last year or whatever? So it's like two teams played very, very well and one of them has to win. And at that score, 32-30, that means it could have gone either way. Um, so I understand like, You need to be proud of yourself, you played well, but I completely empathize with the feeling of just wanting to like run away and hide. ラストの方が本間に悪いと思うときにしや。俺もさっきあそこが間違うとったと思えへんね。決まると思うと。まあ、練習でやってへんことは本番でやろうとするのは嫌いやけどな。ラストのあれは相手が悪かったよな。せや
but it's irresponsible that you use things in games that you don't practice. Like, fair. Um, and then on the other hand, it's just like, I wanted to play more. I wanted to look around and say, isn't my team amazing? Like, and that's what it's about. And I think Kita realizes it that like, like he said, results are just a byproduct. Like it's the day to day, it's the process, it's the, the putting in the work and trying to pursue greatness that that is what makes being on a team and playing sports so special. Um, and I think he acknowledges that, but just the fact that he's walking away and just leaving the guys with that feeling of like, it's been an honor to share the court with you and to share this time with you is just like really special. Everybody's zombies, get them some food. Get these boys bananas! Oh, Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> that callback to season two with Bokuto at the training camp where he was explaining the moment that he got hooked on volleyball and it was like when he went up and he saw the block and he hit a, like a line swing or something. I might be wrong, but... Um, and to bring it back to that, and he's like, I think I just witnessed the moment where he nodded, got even more hooked on volleyball. Second day of the spring tournament when he made that dig, like, oh, that's beautiful. Ooh, speaking of, He was probably mad that they weren't watching him. I was just thinking that. I was like, he needs to take a deep breath. Wait, she was in an OVA. Whose sister is she? She's an Akoma sister. She was sitting with Lev's sister. Who is she? Somebody remind me. Oh, I remember the OVA, but I can't remember who she was. Oh. 
Here's a an Arasaki highlight reel. <laughs> I love how like light the atmosphere is and everybody's so happy. I am dead at um, Kageyama just looking away when uh, Hinata's dick came up. He's like, no, didn't see it. Um, but basically it's like, oh, here's this highlight reel of Inarizaki just like hammering balls against Karasuno. They actually sucked pretty bad. Nobody could figure it out, but somehow they won. It's like that kind of happened even when they played um, Seijo, I think, in season one or t season one when the TV came and like nothing was of them. It's the same thing and it's just like, Wow, we're shocked that this team won. They kind of sucked. <笑>珍しいですね、僕とさん。テレビ見ないんですか高校終わっても変わらずバレーやるし、高校最後の大会だからって今までと特に変わんないと思ってたんだけど。やっぱもっとみんなとやりたかったな。僕とさ死にませんよね。あ、俺は百三十歳まで生きる。何言ってるんです
Oh my gosh, they're like proud big brothers. Going through and talking about like all the good things that the first years did and not even just the first years, like Tanaka and stuff like the end is near and every single game they play could be the end. And I know that that was the case like last match and the match before that, but it's just like hearing them reminisce, just they're such a cute group and like the love, I'm feeling the love and that is making me so happy. They said they would meet there the next day and they get to. Whose booty is that? Of course. Pinocchio was on TV. The sister showdown, baby. I would take Psycho over them any day. This is from season one, isn't it? I like this song. That was a, oh, that was a feel good episode, 100%. We remember from season two when Kenma and Hinata had that little bet, or it wasn't a bet, but being like, we'll see who wins in a real game. So here we go, we get to see it. Um, did anybody see on the TV, Kanoka's team won. Very happy about that. Um, overall, very good, feel good episode, tying up the loose ends, um, reminiscing about the match, getting to see some of the characters that we've met before, um, see how everybody's feeling. I liked the light <laughs> feeling of this episode because the whole season I've been very stressed out, um, particularly during match play. So this one was just a really nice wrap up. Um, to make everybody feel good. Gomistevano 
させようとしたでもある時やつらはどう考えてるのか気になったやつらは俺じゃねえし俺の駒でもねえその当たり前のことに気づいてその日から教えることが真似事じゃなくなったんだあれがまあ難しいのなんのなおめえはその点出来がいいバレエ自体の出来が悪いだけあるあ<笑>ゴミ捨て場の決戦がジジイ高校のためだと思ってんのかよ今一番ネコマの連中を倒したいと思ってんのはうちの野郎どもだぞもう昔の因縁の相手じゃなくなってるんだよ、うん、だからただ楽しみに待ってるよ Yes! I got to see my boy Grandpa Ukai to finish that out. You know how much I love him. Actually, that interaction was wonderful in the sense that it highlighted a huge like, concept about coaching and that like, people think that really, really good players will automatically make good coaches. And Grandpa Uka explaining that he was trying to get his athletes to like do what he did or even push the boundaries further and do things he couldn't do, it didn't make him a good coach. And it's only when he dropped that that he started to gain success in, in coaching. But then young Ukai wasn't good at volleyball, but he's a really good coach. So, like, just showing that there's not necessarily a correlation between like your skill as a player and your your skill as a coach、um, was very interesting and i kind of like that young ukai put him in his place、um, i wish there was another more to watch right now <laughs> like as i said that was a great ending the kita discussion with his team on the staircase was amazing、um, and just seeing how You know, the third years we're talking about the first years, Bakuto and Akashi's little discussion.、Um, just like certain people getting ready to say goodbye to, to high school volleyball. So that was really beautiful. I, I really liked that ending. As I said, it was, it was light and very feel good, which I definitely needed.、Um, I cannot wait to see what's next. In Haikyuu,、um, and you best believe that anything that comes out, I will be reacting to right here. So hang tight because there will be more where this came from.、Um, but as I said, head over to my anime channel to check out my reactions to other anime while we wait for Haikyuu to come back. I love hanging out with you guys.、Um, I would love to hear your comments. I've had many discussions about where to go from here, so hit me up with your questions, comments, I'll see what I can do.、Um, and as always, I would be so grateful if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned because I know that more Haikyuu is gonna come.、Um, and I can't wait to watch it with you. Thanks, guys.